Silence of the ages on the bay at dawn. When the outlines are still smudged and indistinct, and it could be any year. The sun inching above East Bay Hills, awakening the dark waters with little golden flutters. A gray aircraft carrier moving ponderously towards the Golden Gate, its planes sleeping beneath folded wings. And the ferry building siren, bringing the city to life with a wail that is echoed by the scream of a seagull, the snort of a donkey engine, the finger across blackboard screeching of the Beltline Railroad, which always sounds in need of oil. Old men sitting at sidewalk flower stands, tenderly wrapping today's bright young flowers in yesterday's newspapers. Old widowed women darting out of drab downtown apartment houses, shopping for lonely dinners in dirty little grocery stores, and scuttling back into their gloom, paper bags clutched tight in their arms. Gray pensioners under gray hats, sitting in yellowish hotel lobbies, looking dusty-eyed at the world, passing them by with rapid strides. Clink-clank of a birdcage signal, harmonizing with the bong of a cable car gong, and the lolling of Bernstein's Fish Grotto Bell to produce the sad, sweet street music of Powell. Damp darkness of Steinhardt Aquarium, streaked with the shrieks of children staring bug-eyed at the fishy-eyed. Hush of the Japanese tea garden, broken only by the rustle of a kimono, clink of a teacup, Soundless splash of a blossom fluttering down into a bewitched lake, making tiny rings that seem to tinkle away. Girl and boy on bicycles, disappearing around a bend, slowly gone into leafiness. And the picnicking people making splashes of color across the velvet meadows that somehow seem more French than anything else. You look up, expecting to see the Eiffel Tower. Dusk in North Beach. The boys at play under the playground lights. Every gesture classic and ritualistic. The American ballet of the streets with nobody and everybody, the star. Windows open in old buildings, letting out a smell of cooking, mixed with the staleness of too many years, of too little of everything, except children. Alleys of Telegraph Hill murmur of many voices in secret gardens behind stone walls. Mozart on a hi-fi, leaving a dancing trail of notes in the air. Sports cars parked on the sidewalks like scooters, abandoned by kids who found something else to play with. A car twisting crazily down the Lombard curlicue, a big black bug among the swirly cues of pink and white hydrangeas that carpet the hill. German Gothic ugliness of St. Mary's Cathedral, rising heavily above red and white Victorian hideosity 
at Geary and Van Ness. At sunset, the Legion of Honor Museum, a white and legendary palace on its eminence above the gate. The great statue of El Cid, outlined blackly against the Marin Hills, his lance raised forever against the forces of darkness that soon blot him out anyhow. And in Lincoln Park, a lone golfer making his final swish swing, the ball rising into the dying sun and then falling with the night. The lame, the blind, the halt of Market Street, tottering along the wide sidewalk past the cheap movie houses whose naked, fly-specked beauties no longer interest them. Stubble, stumble, and reek of skid row, and an old man leaning against a fire hydrant to fit cardboard into his old shoes, toes wiggling through tattered socks. Stale saloons whose bartenders look hard and act soft. Gay old girls who still have a glint in their eye as they peer at you through a beer foamily. The cops yawning past in a blue jacketed haze. The pawn shops overflowing with the death of somebody's dream. And overall, the smell of something, perhaps everything, frying away. Masts of the Balclutha, rising above the Embarcadero with a majesty that no steamer could ever achieve. Harbor cruise boats, scurrying past the outstretched piers, incredibly fast as wind-up toys on a hardwood floor. Sailboats squeezing slowly out of the yacht harbor and unfurling their wings in white bursts of joy. Anointed bodies turning brown at Aquatic Park and more bodies arriving all the time, carrying their gear in zipper bags, eagerly shedding the pale badge of the city as though it were a blight. And far in the background, reality rumbling about its business, snorting munisirably across the hills, bustling in fits and starts through the valleys, clickety-clacking in skyscraper offices where the sun is only something that Venetian blinds were invented to shut out. Busy, the summer pace of Baghdad by the bay, the tourists ankle deep in pigeons, their eyes pressed forevermore against cameras, shooting postcard pictures. Towering, the apartment houses of Russian Hill, pressed together in razorback array. Bewildering, the row on row of identical little houses in the sunset, each with its own car in the driveway. Quiet, the streets of Pacific Heights, where a white-jacketed houseboy is always polishing a window that already gleams. Dazzling, the city, basking under the warm summer sun, twisting and turning lazily to view its many sides with pleasure. 